What's up guys? Let's talk about the 29 and let's make the people happy. You know, it's a lot of talk about 29 is uh, na 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 blah blah blah. I will not say it, but uh, they don't like it. They think it's slow. Well, so far this year, we could prove that 29, if you have a certain height, ask a great binar. <laughs> Definitely, some give him um, a big advantage in some places. In all of them, I don't know. You need to have a certain size. I definitely think so. Uh, what else? Talking about the 29, I've been riding the Nomad 27.5. Definitely had the blast. I can be aggressive. If I had to race and if I had to ride enduro, definitely going to take High Tower or the High Tower LT. I cannot wait to get the High Tower LT because so far I don't have it out of stock since it's been on the market and I'm waiting for mine. I think I'm going to go to Reunion Island with that one because it's a little bit more suspension and uh, different angles as well and uh, yeah for me that's definitely something will make me, my riding a lot better and a lot softer without being so aggressive and uh, the 29 do that for me obviously you need to change your kind of riding uh, cannot stop the bike before the corner obviously you have to bring it back to speed then yes you need to adapt or your, your riding need to match uh, the kind of bike like I said the heights for me is definitely one of the key points and uh, I have the size for 29 and higher than me I'm 187 definitely even more those days we have the good wheels we have the good tires we have everything fixing what the 29 had as a problem before big flex on the wheels tire was not ready side walls of the tire were skinny easy flat tire i mean no one was actually trusting it same for when you don't have any boost on the wheels the wheels were super soft and yeah everything is fixed now and let me tell you when you ride one of those bikes and you see how fast you go to the sudden but without really feeling but when you see the time or man you're like for me it's almost like mechanical doping <laughs> but definitely something i cannot wait to have the santa cruz lt i'm going to i mean i've been riding for with a nomad for three months now and uh yeah it's going to be super cool to come back on the 29 and um, yeah i will start to train on it uh, in the next couple of weeks to be ready for radian island at the end of november beginning of december and I cannot wait. I will show you anyway when I receive the bike because we probably have to build it and pimp it up with rat stickers on. And uh, yep, if you have any question on all those, I'm ready to answer. But uh, I wanted to talk about those 29 because in the beginning, if you talk about 29 and you say that 29 is good and faster, people will actually slice you down. But hey, we prove in 29 are fast, we bring in the downhill, and all of a sudden the result was super good right away. Then, uh, I mean, when it, when people approve you in 29 are fast, I guess, you just have to accept it and swallow it. <laughs> then, all right, boys, have a good one. It was just a little talk about the 29 in the mountain bike industry. Have a good one, boys. Don't forget to subscribe. And we're Sergio Gracia talking about the 29, driving home. <laughs>